So all I was doing was looking for a tool to do some simple mock-ups and I've come across this beast. You wait you see what this thing can do. Okay, so let's try and make a block breaker game. Let's give this a go. So I'm gonna draw a canvas like that. Let's get some more boxes drawn here. So Okay, so that should be pretty good. Let's now select everything here. Now I've got my API key added there. Let's now hit the make real. That's gonna go and work its magic on this side. Let's see what it comes up with. Oh, it's looking pretty good, it's pretty good. Wow, look at this, if I double click on this, let's see if I can move that paddle around. Oh, I can move the paddle as well. That's looking amazing. Awesome. Look at that all from a picture, that's pretty amazing. Okay, and check this out. We've inside here, copy to the clipboard, I've actually got the code as well. If I go over to the text editor, so I've just pasted the code into Visual Studio Code. You can see here, it's a load of HTML and JavaScript. If I just minimize that, you can see that I have this thing running in the web browser. So that is how to make a simple game using literally no code, but other than your imagination with inside of that particular tool. Let's try some more examples. Okay, so let's quickly create a mock UI for a mobile app screen and uh, maybe you could just do a search in a text box and, and kind of filter the kind of results. So let's give that a go. Let's quickly now create the screen. if we can actually type in here so list item two wow there we go we are filtering down on our list so we've actually got a live example wow that is pretty cool pretty cool let's try another sample okay so let's try a spinning wheel let's give this a go so let's we've got that there let's draw There we go, crazy I know, but let's try this one out here. Let's see if it takes simple instructions. Here we go. Well, it's uh, looking not too bad. Let's see what happens. Well, okay, the wheel is spinning. Um, it doesn't look like it's stopping particularly well. Or is it slowly, slowly? Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, not too bad, I think. Let's see if, oh, I've kind of got my cursor there. Maybe a little bit of a bit of manipulation there on the actual drawing there. Maybe it's spinning a little bit longer than 10 seconds, but hey, it's not a bad attempt, is it? It could be just me, my poor drawing that's probably not worked. So it's kind of got this line there in the center, um, which is quite interesting. Um, possibly my bad drawing in the middle, but that is not a bad, not a bad shout. Okay, I've got a slightly different uh, sample here. Let's uh, just bring this out here. I think I've lost my uh, my actual, uh, <clears throat> my triangle here, my little pointer here that would um, hopefully stop in the right place. But again, just a little bit of tinkering, I think the drawing I think will be pretty, pretty good. So that is, uh, that's pretty awesome. So uh, let's move on to the next sample. Okay, so let's try and create a slider to see if it actually increases the actual value that we're gonna have above it. So let's give that a go. Wow, that is pretty, pretty impressive. Really, all it is is just a simple drawing that it's just taken simple instructions. I mean, how cool is that? That is really, really useful. If you are creating some kind of prototype or something like that to quickly show customers or anything like that, you can just visually do it. It's fantastic. Let's have a look at another sample. Okay, so I've just mocked up a very, very simple looking website with some descriptive way of actually moving back and forward these options that are in the middle. So let's give this a whirl and see what it comes up with. 
I'll be super impressed if this comes up with a um, with an actual responsive version of an HTML page. Let's give this a go. Okay, let's move this out here. Okay, that's looking pretty, pretty good. Um, uh, whether these options will actually work or not, um, probably not because I've probably got no more options to actually tell it, but the navigation items are working and let's just see how responsive this is. So I suppose that's not bad. That's um, certainly a building block for a particular website. It certainly wouldn't win any awards, of course. Uh, it's a shame the sliders, uh, these, these things here aren't actually working. Maybe let's see if I can correct that. Okay, so I just gave you some more descriptive uh, uh, sort of detail there just to kind of hopefully get these options here to move left and right. So it looks like you're gonna have to play around with this thing a little bit just to kind of get it to do exactly what you want it to. Let's see what it comes up with. There, oh, look at that, there we go. So we have a functioning kind of a slider here. I've got the website sort of title up there. I've got the navigation items. They seem to be all selected. I've got my call to action text. If I just bring this in here, you can see as well that it's somewhat kind of uh, responsive as well, which is pretty, pretty good. So that's a, a fairly simple example, but um, it looks like it can do that as well. So uh, let's move on to the next one. So finally then I've created what I'm sure does not look like a calculator. I haven't used one for quite a while, but I've just drawn the boxes. I'm trying to make it look like a calculator. Let's see what this thing produces. Wow, that is not a bad looking calculator, eh? You've got to agree. Let's, let's give this a whirl, shall we? So let's go uh, one plus two equals three. Excellent, let's clear it. Yeah, let's um, say do, I uh, say six divided by two equals Wow, that is pretty darn good. Just as a little test, let's just delete this. Let's see how different the next calculator kind of looks. Let's give it a quick sort of regeneration. Let's see if we actually get something that's completely different because that obviously then proves the fact that you can keep just keep running this thing and keep then getting the look that you actually need, which you can then copy the code and then go and do what you want to do with it. Okay, there we go. So that's looking a little bit different to what we had before. Let's give this a go. Uh, our, our numbers are all over the place. Um, eight uh, plus three equals 11. Uh, but that's quite good. We, I mean, we're getting a kind of like a, some feedback now actually saying, we're sort of saying that six times seven, you can kind of see it just in the top here equals, and obviously we're getting the actual result itself. So not bad at all. So just goes to show you can just keep regenerating this as you go. So uh, there we go. There's a quick look at this particular tool. The link is down in the description. Of course, you're gonna to need to make sure you've got your open API key here. Um, from looking at the, the instructions here, it's actually just using your key right over the wire. It's not storing on their server or anything like that. So please do go and have some fun with this thing. Please do leave some uh, some notes down in the description. Of course, if you like seeing these kind of like little little no codey kind of little tools, now I'm happy to go searching out on the web for you and kind of bring those to your attention. So I uh, hope you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next video.